First off, I'd like to prefix this video by saying that this is not a video that's directly addressing Stickman. Rather, it's a video that takes what Stickman said and sort of applies a soapbox to it, which is perfect for the kind of internet persona that I am and the kind of channel that this is. Regardless, Stickman made a post on his Facebook talking about how this is addressed to white nationalists saying that in 40 years your countries aren't going to be white countries no more they're going to go the same direction as South Africa and parts of Western Europe right now and to focus on American nationalism instead which to him is a civic thing as in a set of ideas and customs that people have rather than their ethnic backgrounds which to me I wanted to get at that because as someone who's Dominican seven Spanish one eighth black a second and a half generation American my perspective on what makes a European man a European man the various ethnic backgrounds of European countries and even what makes an American an American that's all gone through several layers of nuance over the years and you'd notice if you watch a lot of my older videos and seen the changes I do see an ethnic background to the American and if we're talking just Americans in the country called the United States of America I can picture the Normans and Celts of the South I can picture the Germans of the Midwest who are the largest ethnic group at least of a white demographic and various types of Yankees you got on the coasts and I do see the components of them. I do have a semi-coherent, not autistically literal conception of the American man and the American ethnicity, but it's nonetheless there. And a lot of people need to realize that me, white American, Let me just backtrack. The white person, the white race is very complex. Same with Africans. Europeans are complicated. They've been complicated from the get go, and they've only gotten much more complicated over the years. And it's much more so with Africans, but that's a completely different topic in terms of inter or intra racial diversity see when I see something like American nationalism I see it from an ethnic component from an ethnic standpoint that's how I look at it those words have a different effect on me whereas to him he sees a bunch of ideals civic practices that have happened over the course of many centuries and in many ways it's good to see a combination of both my issue where I take issue with this and reasoning behind this sort of soapbox is that in many ways I have to ask if you're not if your convictions aren't targeted towards a race trying to help and protect a certain race as a nationalist, then what are your convictions for? If they're not for a specific people group that have existed in a place, a type, then what are they for? And with this case, I'm being specific with whites. A 
you pretty much focus on salvaging their existence, their happiness, their not just survival, but the continuation of their life. Like, I wouldn't want whites to be vampires who exist for an eternity without reproducing. Like something off of Highlander. But I certainly want them to continue being fruitful, being happy, and surviving the many generations. If that's not your conviction, then what are your convictions? What civic nationalism can replace that conviction? And this is where I want maybe some comments from people who do have similar opinions. They are civic nationalists. And they can agree with what Stickman said. Tell me. Because I'm not here to debate. I'm really curious. I'm trying to see things from another perspective. Because for now, it just doesn't make sense to me. It sounds like you're chasing a bunch of utopian ideals. And in regards to utopianism or a love of certain aesthetics, behaviors, customs, beliefs, and just watch cartoons. Anyway, this has been your boy, Mr. Ronka7. I'd like to see some comments, some insight on the topic, some soapboxing from you guys, and suck my dick.